So I decided to pair together the new superhero Question Master bot, who is rated 0 ELO with the Chess.com Maximum Engine, which is rated 3200. So what I did is that I let them play two different games, and now I'm going to show you the results of those two games. So I will start with this one. So the Question Master bot plays with the white pieces, and the Chess.com Maximum Engine plays with the black pieces. The Question Master bot started with E4. The computer said, we responded with e6, then we have d4. We have d5, playing into the friends opening, and knight c3. The computer took, and the question was about to took back. Then we have knight d7, knight f3, knight g6, takes, takes, and c3. A very solid position that, is, that the computers decided to take. Then we have bishop d6, we have bishop d3, castles, knight e5. So we already see some inaccuracies in this game by castling and by playing knight e5. This makes me think that the question master bot maybe isn't super high elo, even though it's definitely a very good computer. We have c5, best move, castle, best move, takes, takes, and knight d5. So, so far, the question master bot is slightly better with a 0.46 advantage. We have rook e1, we have f6, which is an inaccuracy. We have queen to h5. So if they take the knight, then we have some nasty stuff over here. Probably bishop takes. Yeah, actually. If they take the knight, then we have bishop takes. King here, only move. Bishop g6, only move. And queen h7 checkmate. So f5 was played then bishop g5 queen b6 knight c4 queen takes d4 which is a mistake the reason why it's a mistake is because we can take the bishop and once they take our bishop then we should have played rook a d1 counterattacking the queen however the question was about to decide to go queen h4 and this is a mistake, which goes from being slightly in our favor with 0 0.08 to a completely draw his posi position. Um, the chess.com maximum computer played bishop d7. Question master played rook a d1 now. Queen c2 attacking the pawn. And queen d4 defending the pawn. However, this is a slight inaccuracy. A move like rook d2 would have been better, counter-attacking the queen and defending the pawn at the same time. We have f4, and now f3, which is a miss. So this is the question master's only miss of the game. What Do you know what we should have played? Yeah, just taking the pawn. That's just a free pawn. So we go from being in an advantage to just a complete draw. Uh, queen g6, queen e5, h6, bishop back to h4, king h7, rook d2, b5, and now the question master bot played bishop f2, we rolled in the bishop, we have a5, bishop d4, rook a6, knight d4, rook c6, a very slow game going on right now knight c5 rook d8 queen back to e2 rook c7 knight d3 queen f5 and now queen e7 offering the queen trade however the chess.com computer decided to go to queen g5 and now the question master uh, compute the question master bot decided to take the queen now the pawns are doubled as you can see but we're just in a very, very so slight advantage in, on 0 0.08 uh, rook e5, um, rook c4, knight c5, knight back, knight b7, rook there, takes, and check. King f2, now the chess.com computer pushes the pawn. So we push the g4 pawn, or the question master bot more correctly said, pushes the g4 pawn. We have rook 1c2, 
takes takes check and back with other rook. The com- the Chester comp- computer goes back. Bring the knight in once again. Then here we don't take the bishop because then they can take this one and have some nice counterattacks on this side of the board. And I think the chess computer bot would have a slight advantage. Rook uh, b1 puts some pressure on the pawn. Bishop back to b6, e5, rook d2, and e4. So this just looks like we lose a bishop, or I mean, not we. This just looks like the question master bot just is going to win a bishop, right? However, there's some really nice tactics here. Let's take, now we play knight e5, rook e7, and now rook takes b2 check. King back, and now knight takes f3. So right now, the question master bot is actually up a piece for two pawns. However, the question master bot decides to take the pawn, but now we can simply take the knight, which wasn't the best move, but it's a doable one. And once they take back, we have this nice fork. And here, it's just a draw. Complete draw. And that's actually what's happened. For the rest of the game, computer just played slow, slow moves. And then eventually, after a while, of just repeating the same stuff, there for a draw over here. So that wasn't that interesting of a game. It was a draw, but the second game was a slightly more exciting game. The accuracy at this game was as following. White played with 96.6% accuracy and black played with 96.5. Both of them got done a Shasta comp estimation of 3250. In this game, the question master is the white pieces yet again, and the Shasta comp computer is the black pieces. And this game starts with e4. Then we have e5, knight f3, knight c6, and bishop b5 going into a Roy Lopez. Then we have a6 from the computer, from the engine. We have bishop back to a4. Knight f6, castles, takes the pawn. Rook, rook e1, this is still book moves, and then b5. Bishop b3, and d5. Knight c3, takes, takes, and bishop e6, giving this pawn back that we were up just now. But the question master decided to go a4, which is a great move. E4, which was a mistake from the Chester.com engine. Because we can take. And once they take, which was also an accuracy, they just thought the what, what am I saying? The question master had a huge advantage at plus 2.76. However, they lost most of their advantage by taking the pawn. A better move would have been just taking the rook, and once they take back. Now we can maybe take the pawn. Yeah, now we can just take the pawn. Takes. Yeah, now we can even just take the bishop or move the knight. And we're just much better. That's white. But e4 was played. A, a takes b5, takes, and now bishop takes. And now once we take the rook, it might be, look like we're just up and exchange. However, white is still better. The question master bot has gambited and exchanged and is still better. And this knight is still hanging. I mean, he can't take it right now, but eventually if we manage to block the king with bishop or something, the knight is under attack. We have bishop take bishop d6, which is a mistake. Knight e7 takes, takes, queen e7. And here I fought, after this, this, check. I actually thought when they played the game that you could have just gone takes. And once they take, we have this move. However, after blocking, takes, let's say, takes, takes. Then, actually, white isn't much better in this position. The red is up one pawn. And it should still be a draw with correct play. So what happened was 
that's they went rook d1 check. The question must say went rook d1 check. We went back, queen takes g7, rook f8, queen takes h7, and now it's completely drawn on the pawns. Now we aren't up. Now the question master bot, or I mean the Shasta Com computer, isn't up any pawns anymore. They took, took, and we went c6, queen f5, queen e6, offering the trade. Question master bot doesn't want to trade. Went f6, check, up h3. Is e3 looking to put some pressure on the king, maybe, or push the pawn in the future, try and make a queen? Uh, queen g7 check, rook f7, queen back to g3, queen e5 still offering the trade, but we have queen g8, which is a great move, rook back to f8, check, rook there, and queen d3. And now, the chess.com engine makes a pretty huge mistake, which goes from being pretty much a drawing position to being in a minus 0.8. Because of this move, queen d8. But now, the engine also decided to take the bishop. They should have just gone f5. This is an inaccuracy. Now, queen e8 check, king f8. The reason they can't just block, because you might think, oh, if we block the queen as the move, and then we can take the rook. However, they, have, they simply have checks here, so it's not going to happen if you move the case to take. So check, king moves, and now the engine decides to trade the queens. What it takes, we take, and they went here. And now here, the question master bot is simply up two pawns in an endgame, and should be completely winning, as you can see on the evaluation, plus 1.34. And here, it's just a pretty solid endgame. We took a pawn, however, the question master bot find this very nice move afterwards, which x-rays every single pawn. It's hard to defend, because if the rook moves trying to defend, we simply just push the pawn and win the game, as the question master bot. King g3, takes, 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 try to defend, and now simply just pushing the pawns, and then eventually coming closer and closer, and here the king just comes in, and here we make a queen. They take with rook, and we take, and we're simply just up a rook in the pawn. However, the question master bots felt like being a little a little show booty here i must say they went here and now they went c5 sacking the rook because this is a completely winning king and pawn versus king endgame now we simply go king b6 there push pawn it's important that you actually play the right moves that's also fine but if you if you don't know what you're doing you might actually blunder a stalemate there king here we don't push the pawn because that would be stalemate and that's not ideal but i doubt the question master bot who has performed this well against the chess.com engine will blunder this the ready go king here once the king goes to a7 the question master bot went king d8 and then simply has pushed the pawn and then tried to find the quickest checkmate and the question master bot got the win in this one they Estimation of the rating is actually kind of sus, I must say, because the question master bot played with a 93.1% uh, accuracy, and the chess.com engine, which supposedly is rated 3200, only played with an 86% accuracy. The chess.com bot had three mistakes and six inaccuracies, whilst the, uh, the question master bot had four inaccuracies and only one mistake. The estimation of the game was 3150 for the white pieces and only 2800 for black. So the chess.com engine underperformed by 400 ELO points. So, well, that's it. That's the two games they played. Uh, feel free to comment down below which rating you believe the question master bot has. Because I highly doubt it's actually zero, as it says. Uh, so, thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe if you would like to, if you want me to to show you any other games with the question master bot or any other bots comment it down below and i will see you in the next one peace out